chilly start yet again. Thank you, Brian. We're right, going to start with some breaking news this morning. Two people now in the hospital recovering after their house caught on fire early this morning. It happened around 6 a.m. off Lee Road, and that's where we find News 5's Meg Shaw. Meg, how are those two people who were injured doing? Well, no, Nick, I can tell you that both of the people that were transported to the hospital are in critical condition this morning. Take a look. This is a look at the house here that caught on fire. You can see the front door kind of open. It, you can see from here, I'm not sure how well our camera can pick it up, but there is some uh, smoke damage here in the living room. The fire department tells me the 67-year-old woman jumped out of a side window and fire crews had to pull the 58-year-old man out of the home. He was unconscious but breathing. Right now, fire crews don't know what started this blaze, but tell me there is, again, as I mentioned, significant damage here in the living room. The department also tells me the couple didn't have working smoke alarms inside, giving them less notice to get out safely. Officials say this is the time of year they remind folks to check their smoke alarms, change the batteries, and make sure they are working in every room, especially where people sleep fires get going, get hotter, and they, they burn quicker than they did in the past. So you actually have less time with the modern uh, materials inside of your house. So again, back out here on the scene, fire uh, investigators are just arriving here this morning trying to determine the cause of this fire. But again, as I mentioned, the couple did not have working smoke detectors inside this house. The fire department says this is a perfect example as to why they are so important. Uh, uh, thankfully, both people should be OK. Uh, we will continue to check on their condition. Live in Cleveland, Meg Shaw, News 5.